Hey everybody, this is Alexander Fitzgerald or Assassinato. Let's do some low stakes poker strategy today. So you're playing a $16 buy-in tournament. You have ace queen offsuit and the players at this table for whatever reason have been super aggressive. So you go ahead and raise with ace queen from early position and you get three bet, another player cold calls and another player cold calls. What would you like to do with ace queen here? Fold, call, or raise five seconds. That is time. You decide to go ahead and call. The board comes six, five, eight, all hearts. It's on you. Check or bet five seconds. Time is up. We check here and it gets checked around. The turn is the two of hearts. Villain 33 checks. It's on you. Check or bet five seconds. That is time. We check, and it comes around to villain 35. Who bets the size of the pot? It is on you. Fold, call, or raise. Five seconds. That is time. We go ahead and call. The river is the three of diamonds. Would you like to check or bet? Five seconds. That is time. We move all in and we get called and we win a huge pot here. Now, the real key, you could have gotten your money in on the turn or on the river after he bets. Either one is fine. The real key, though, is here, whenever there's a four flush board and you have very aggressive low stakes opponents who are just playing for fun, let them attack that board. Many of them do want to attack that board. Do not alert everybody in a multi-way pot that you have some kind of flush by betting into three separate players. Let them take that play. Notice how this player massively overplayed their hand and how good that is for you. To recap, what we need to execute this low stakes strategy play we need loose, aggressive opponents who never want to fold. We need a four flush board. Many of them want to bluff it. And if you are going to shove for value, wait until they're getting a great pot odds price. In this particular situation, shove on turn was fine as well in this hand if you wanted to do that. All right, guys, that's my time for today. If you want to continue working on your game, I have a free master class in the information section of this video. I asked you guys what you want a master class on, and many of you told me you don't know what to do when you three bet with ace king, the board misses you, and your continuation bet gets called. So I made an entire video, an entire master class on how to play ace king when you hit, when you miss, when you're in position, when you're out of position, all of that. Go ahead and check that out. And thank you for tuning in today. Good luck to you if you're playing today. Take care.